The US dollar index is extending losses on Tuesday, Wall Street opened on a cautious note. This trading week started with a surge of optimism. However, investors are moderating confidence during the New York session today. Wall Street opened today in the red. Markets have come to a standstill as investors are anticipating a testimony by Jerome Powell. The Fed's leader is expected to clear up the current state of affairs in the US economy. Besides, the policymaker is going to shed light on further the prospects of the domestic economy. Investors are looking in profits after yesterday's rally of stocks. The benchmark year stock index has gained to 2 or 3.8 percent following the news on a successful trial of the coronavirus vaccine. In the early New York trade futures on the Dow Jones leaped 0.22 percent, futures on the S&P 500 lost 0.36 percent. Yesterday, the US dollar index stumbled below the level of 100 uh, to the intraday support of 99.6. In midday, the index weakened against its uh, six major peers. In the evening trade, it uh, regained some losses uh, to trade at uh, 99.44. Traders are still absorbing comments from Jerome Powell made on Friday. He said that the central bank is ready to employ all available tools uh, to prevent recession. Today, apart from the testimony from Jerome Powell, the market takes notice of metrics on the youth construction sector. The number of housing starts uh, plummeted 30.2% in April to 891,000 units month on month. Such a sharp contraction caught uh, the market off guard. Economists had expected a 24% decline. Investors hope that macroeconomic data on the US economy will improve in the near future. However, metrics on the housing market are likely to remain downbeat for long. The minutes of the latest Fed's policy meeting should reveal a caution stone of the officials. Investors seem to have uh, shrugged off fears caused by the events of March and April. Now they prefer to speculate on the recovery. A rally of oil prices provided commodity currencies with a solid support, so they regained the footing. The Canadian dollar also gained ground advancing to the level slightly above 1.39 versus the US dollar. Yesterday the loony rose 1% benefiting from the risk sentiment and growing oil prices. Today the US decad per shed 0.2% after a brief pause in midday both benchmark oil grades are again trading higher. WTI futures climbed above the level of 30 US dollars a barrel with the prospects for a further increase. WTI is trading at near $32.24 a barrel. Meanwhile, US drilling companies are ready to take advantage of growing oil prices, thus posting a threat to the ongoing rally. Today, traders are alerted to speeches of Fed's chair Jerome Powell and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin at the Senate's Banking Committee. Notably, December contracts are the most popular now. Traders are suspicious about futures with the nearest expiration due to low demand for energy amid the coronavirus crisis. Confidence was uh, shaken by a nasty dive of May contracts. High demand for December contracts is generated by faith in the global economic recovery in the wake of the pandemic. That's all for today. We wish you profitable deals. See you on our channel tomorrow.